morning, add on some extra time for that morning commute. Despite the cold air, which has really been the focus of our forecast, now we have to prepare for that wet weather overnight tonight. This, a beautiful live view, though, from Birmingham, our BJCC Tower Cam. Look at the the, the lights of the city, and we see that City Hall is illuminated in purple tonight. 53 is our current temperature here in Birmingham. Winds are light out of the east. This is all preceding a wet mess that's moving in from the west. Heavy rainfall right now from Tyler, Texas, down towards Houston, northern Louisiana, from Shreveport, now making its way into Jackson, Mississippi, along that Interstate 20 corridor. And you know what's along I 20. Next up will be Alabama. Heavy rainfall expected overnight tonight through. Tomorrow morning. Here's how that rain is going to be impacting your forecast. At least for tonight, most should stay dry through at least 7, 8 o'clock. So I don't think it should interrupt those overnight plans too much unless those overnight plans keep you out and about after, say, 9 to 10 o'clock. Most of the heavier rainfall between now and midnight will be along and north of I 20 with a few pockets down towards I 65. But look at this it's just a mess of rain near midnight tonight through around lunchtime tomorrow. Heavy pockets of rain at times. You see these dots of red on the map. That would indicate where that rain will be heaviest. Locally, heavy amounts of rainfall, but I do not anticipate flooding. Rainfall totals with this anywhere from a half to maybe one inch in some of those spots that see a bit more rainfall. Rain should start lifting to the north and to the east. By 9 o'clock, we'll already start to see parts of West Alabama clearing out, but the rain should last through around noon to 1 p.m., through the northeast corner of our viewing area, places like Center and through Cherokee County. Keep in mind, most of the rain will be confined to that first half of the day tomorrow. Temperatures holding in the mid 40s. Despite the fact that this will be a cold rain, we're not talking any winter weather. Temperatures will not be close to freezing. We've had those below freezing temperatures within the last couple of days, but because those temperatures will not get as cold, we won't have to worry about any winter weather mischief with this particular system. Cloud cover for the afternoon tomorrow. Temperatures still remain cool. The only opportunity for rain in the next week is tonight and into tomorrow. Then we'll dry out, but the drier air will also mean some colder temperatures because that dry air can cool off very effectively and efficiently. Notice the top line here. These are our average highs for this time of year in the 60s, but our forecast highs right now are going to be in the 50s through Wednesday. We'll dip into the 40s. These are highs. These are not morning lows. We'll dip into the 40s Thursday and then back in the 50s for the remainder of the week and into the weekend. I want to fast forward to next week talking about Thanksgiving. I know it's kind of a jump ahead, but we're already keeping our eyes focused on a developing system that could bring some wet weather early on your turkey day. On and off showers possible through your lunchtime, but clearing out hopefully in time for Thanksgiving dinner plans. That rain will continue to move to the east Thursday into Friday. Just want you to know it's something we are watching. But for now, it's the rainfall tonight and tomorrow that we have our eye on, followed by a quick cool down. 50s and breezy on Wednesday, 29 degrees as you wake up Thursday morning, 46 for our high Thursday bundle up, and then low 50s Friday, followed by a dry but very cool weekend. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast.